Um, yeah, I really enjoy training. Um, so hopefully I'm still doing this. Um, I think in 10 years, I just hope to be um, expanding a little bit, at least shipping to different tracks and things like that. All right, Riley, welcome back to Delta Downs for another season. Uh, looks like you're ready for a great meet. Yeah, it's nice to be here. <laughs> Yeah, you had a good season at Evangeline this summer. Tell us about that. You won quite a few races. You're having more and more success, getting more horses. Fill yeah. us in. Well, we have 23 here. Um, we got 23 stalls, so we kept like five or six at the farm down the road. Um, just trying to keep building and, and build the quality, basically. You know, I'm at a decent number right now, so just trying, kind of trying to get um, more quality horses in the stable. Now, I talked to you about this the other day. You've had your license since you were 18, so what is that? Three years now? Tell yeah, me, three tell, years. When, when did you get it? Um, I got it in, I believe, uh, October, when I, like right after I turned 18, which right. was in August. Yeah. So it's pretty quick. <laughs> so now you're 21. Mm -hmm. All right, so young lady, you already had a lot of success. How do you set goals from here? You're so young, you got so much to do. Um, Just kind of one day at a time, you know. Uh, as far as long-term goals go, just kind of trying to see where things go from here. Okay, now you had a good start with your dad since he was a trainer. Did that help you a lot getting into the business? Yeah, for sure. Um, he had a lot of experience. You know, he moved around to a lot of different places. So um, having his baseline to learn from and, and uh, kind of just soak up all of his knowledge that he has um, helped me a lot. Yeah. What about growing uh, the barn? Because when you started, obviously you just had a handful. Mm -hmm. You got a connection in Florida. Yeah. Um, with Safi Joseph, right? Yeah. And then uh, now you, how many horses do you have in training? Um, right now, training-wise, 23. 23. Um, yeah, 23, and then we have a couple at the farm that are going to start back pretty soon, and we'll move on over here. Um, but we're kind of trying to claim some more, too. Um, you know, maybe claim at some bigger tracks and, and try to bring some horses here for the following year, and maybe even some this year, just to kind of try and build the stable a little bit. Um, not necessarily increase numbers, but just kind of increase quality of horses. Now, do you look at the type of horses you bring here? Because Evangeline, obviously, a one-mile track, different surface. Yeah. You come here, do you try to fit the horse to the track? Yeah, absolutely. Some just don't love it over here. Um, you know, grass horses kind of have a little bit of an easier time getting over Evangeline's surface because it's a bit firmer. Um, some grass horses love it here, but it's kind of harder, <laughs> you know, to bring a turf horse over here and expect them to um, to run. So, uh, you know, a lot of the lifetime condition races go at uh, Evangeline, and having conditions is really important over here. You kind of run more open races and allowance races and things like that. So you kind of have to adjust the stock that you bring, but, um, you know, it's kind of just a six months here, six months there type of deal. Um, cheaper horses work anywhere, so, yeah. you know, that's always easy. What about the jockeys that you use? Obviously, Devin, he was with you early, and then now he's back with you now, riding yeah. most of your horses. Are we gonna yeah. see him on your or your horses mainly this season? Yeah, as many as possible, just the doubles, you know, the doubles would be somebody else, but, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, other than that, you know, what are you looking at as far as your career goes? You're three years in, What do you? where do you see you being, where do you see yourself in about 10 years from now? Um, in 10 years, hopefully still here. Um, you know, I'd like to be here. And Speaking of Devin, my on. <laughs> oh my <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Had to oh, sneak okay. in. All right, have a good day, Devin. Anyway, no, I mean, seriously, down the road, I mean, do you see yourself doing anything else for your life? I mean, is this it? You're cut out to be a trainer? Um, yeah, I really enjoy training. Um, so hopefully I'm still doing this. Um, I think in 10 years, I just hope to be um, expanding a little bit, at least shipping to different tracks and things like that, yeah. um, you know have more horses like Peacock Kitten, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Well, the ones that really produce, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 consistent horses that can run allowance level yeah. and, and like lower level stakes and maybe even more than that. But yeah, um, yeah that's kind of the goal for now. Yeah. Before I let you go, tell me, in the three years you've been training, what's the, the biggest thing or the most important thing you've learned? Is it about the horse and training or did you know that and it's more about management? Because you have to really be a manager now with yeah. this many horses. Yeah, I think management was the bigger thing that I had to learn. Um, obviously we started out with like five or six, so that's very different than having 30. Um, but yeah, I think just time management mostly um, and just keeping, you know, as numbers grow, keeping the individuality in it for the horses because that's something that I enjoy a lot. Um, and I think, you know, the intricate things and little things are part of what makes a good stable a good stable. So just kind of trying to keep that as a numbers grow has been yeah. the biggest thing I've had to learn. Now the season kicks off tomorrow. Do you have many in here on opening week? Three uh, tomorrow and then one Saturday. So they all have decent shots. Um, so <laughs> we'll see. And then we have a lot more that are getting ready. So yeah. um, as the meet goes on, we'll have a lot more running. And you start uh, entering today for next week, obviously. Yeah, yeah, we should have five or six in next week, hopefully. So. 
we'll see. Well, fans can keep their eye on you. Yeah. Riley, so. <laughs> Riley Grugian, uh, what a career, what a start. Good luck this season, okay? Thank you.